Hi everyone, it's Adam with webstarts.com. In this short video, I'm going to show you how to create a zip file on your computer. And then I'm going to upload that zip file to my website and make it downloadable to my audience. Before I get into that though, I want to invite you to tap the subscribe button and ring the notification bell. That way you'll be the first to find out when I release a new video on web design, internet marketing, search engine optimization, and a variety of similar topics. For this demonstration, I'm going to be using a website that I built using the WebStarts website builder. If you don't have a website or you don't have a WebStarts account, go to webstarts.com, sign up. It's totally free, and then you can catch up with me. Now, I've created a photography website, and on my photography website, I have a lot of high-resolution photos that I want to make easily downloadable to the people who are visiting my website. And so what I've done is I've created an icon with a link to a zip file. And then when they click on that, they can download all of the high resolution wedding photos that I took with a single click. When you're creating a zip file, it's perfect in the event that you have multiple files, for example, photographs or documents, and you want to compress them into a single file. That makes them easy to send across the web, whether you're using chat, some other messaging service, email, or if you want to do like what's uh, what I'm doing in this demonstration, which is make them downloadable from a website. Let me move on over to my Mac Finder and show you how I actually created that zip file out of those high resolution photos. So I've gone to the folder where I have all of my high resolution photos. And what you're going to want to do there is just select the photos that you want to compress into the zip file. And then you can right click and just select compress the items. And if you don't have right click enabled on your Mac, then just select that option by clicking on file up in the top left hand corner. Once you compress those, it's going to put them into a zip file and name it archive.zip. I'm going to change the name to wedding photos just so that we know what we're talking about during this video. And so now all of those wedding photos have been compressed into that single file and I'm going to upload that single file to my website where I can then make it downloadable. This is called the page editor for web starts if you haven't created a website with web starts before. And the first thing I'm going to do is just insert my file, click insert file. I'm going to click upload. I'm going to select the folder or the zip file, I'm sorry, for my local computer. And then I'm going to upload it. I've already done that, so it appears in my file manager, and it's called Wedding Photos. Next, I'm going to select the icon that I want people to click on in order to download that zip file. You can create a link from anything in Web Starts, but for this example, we're using a, an icon. Click My Files because I'm going to be downloading a file. Select the zip file, click Insert File, and Create Link. And then you can just click Save to save and publish your changes. Now when people go to my website and they click on this little link, they're going to be able to download that zip file that contains all of the high resolution wedding photos. All right, I hope you enjoyed this video on how to create a zip file on your computer. Thanks for watching. Be sure to visit webstarts.com to create your very own free website and tap the subscribe button and ring the notification bell. I'll see you next time.